This is the Milwaukee County Jail. In a span of six months in 2016, three people died here as well as a newborn baby. But none of the deaths are like Terrell Thomas. The man that just recently died of uh, thirst was uh, essentially, you know, tortured. They said there was just, you know, he just died, basically. Seven days he didn't drink any water. He refused to turn on his water. Terrell Thomas went seven days without water, held up in solitary confinement. He lost 30 pounds before he died of profound dehydration. The routineness of it was the most shocking. Pete Konezny from Milwaukee's Legal Aid Society has worked with the American Civil Liberties Union to monitor conditions at the jail since 2001. Officers at the jail intentionally turned Thomas's water off to discipline him. Turn off his toilet water because we don't want him to flood. But they never turned it back on. Pacing, yelling and singing, talking gibberish, licking the window, and somehow people could walk by that and not try to figure out something better to do with him than to put him in a punishment cell. Thomas's death was the subject of a full investigation by the district attorney, called an inquest. If you do something wrong in the jail, you get moved to the disciplinary unit, even if you're dealing with mental health issues. Ricky Mitchell sat through the entire inquest process for WTMJ in Milwaukee. This inmate said, and there's actually surveillance video that kind of proves his story, because he said that he would check on Terrell Thomas. This inmate said that he was on the ground, he was unresponsive, he was naked, he didn't have a mattress. They refused to feed this man seven days. He told officers in the jail, this guy might be dying, you need to check on him. And they didn't. The dumb thing of it was that you, you were punishing or teaching a lesson to somebody who, who, for whom it made no sense. After hearing all the evidence during the inquest, the grand jury recommended charges for seven officers at Milwaukee County Jail. Everyone thinks that this is the, the end all be all, but I think it's really important to note that no one could face charges. This is all up to the district attorney at this point. This could end up where no one faces charges. This could end up where more people face charges. The person in charge of these inmates' safety and security, Blue Lives Matter in America is the always outspoken Sheriff David Clark. Although Clark is usually vocal on many issues, he hasn't said much about the state of his jail back home. In his only public statement on Thomas's death, he criticized the media for not reporting what landed Thomas in jail in the first place. I do tend to believe that people in positions of power set the tone about what's acceptable and not acceptable. Teresa Kleinhaus is a civil rights lawyer who's been at odds with Clark's jail on multiple occasions, most recently in a sexual assault case. A jury awarded her client a settlement who was repeatedly raped by a jail guard. And the feeling she described about that was just the shock of how many more times is this gonna happen and what do I have to do to make it stop? A former Milwaukee County jail officer assaulted Kleinhaus's client five times in custody. Three of those assaults were while the woman was pregnant. In a case like this where someone is raped in a jail, it's hard to understand how it occurs. It's a secure facility. You can't walk into it. I can't walk into it. For it to happen five times without detection, I think makes everyone wonder what's going on with the security and supervision at that facility. A Milwaukee jury sided with Kleinhaus's client to the tune of $6.7 million. But it seems the Milwaukee County Jail will have more cases on its plate. Kleinhaus plans to take the jail back to court for shackling pregnant inmates with handcuffs during childbirth. The county is also facing legal action from two of the four inmates' families who died in 2016. As for the boss, he just turned down a job with the Trump administration saying, quote, his skills could be better utilized to promote the president's agenda in a more aggressive role. What's more important, a political moment or, uh, you know, protecting the rights of the citizens of Milwaukee County, whether they're incarcerated or not.